Violence against women and girls especially is one of the most widespread violations of human rights. To raise awareness and trigger action to end this abominable global scorch, the United Nations resolved to observe an international day for the elimination of violence against women. Towards creating and identifying common colour, the UNITE campaign adopted the colour orange and this is how Orange Day campaign was brought about. Today, Namibia commemorated Orange Day with the rest of the world at the Karatura Community Arts Centre, where local artists and members of the public participated in various art activities. We felt that it is important for Namibian artists to now join the fight against um, gender-based violence and to use their creativity and their voice to bring about an eradication of violence against women and children. And I'm so happy with um, the work that the Directorate of Arts uh, within the Ministry of Youth um, have, has done. We spoke to some visual artists to find out what inspired their art pieces and how they can contribute towards raising awareness and fighting gender-based violence. Most of Namibian people, they don't know how to read and they don't like it. But if we use art as a tool, people can understand better. Once they see the picture or a design on the wall. My work has inspired by the true story of a man who murdered uh, his girlfriend. It was in 2004. And I worked it with the, one of the community members and he was a son of the woman who was murdered and he was witness, he was there at the issue of that day. The Orange Day campaign which was adopted by Namibia on the 25th of February this year has been hosting events to raise awareness against gender-based violence since then. This will all end on the 25th of November when the international 16 days of activism will commence. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Brumald English.